Guys, I feel like this always happens, okay? Literally two days ago, I posted a Cars News video, and then yesterday, nine new 2024 cars get revealed. I feel like this always happens to me, where I post a news video, and then immediately after, a bunch of new news comes out. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of My Thoughts, where I give my thoughts on new Cars News. Today, I'm very excited to be talking about nine new releases for the 2024 Cars Diecast line. That's right, count them nine. You can't count them because they aren't all featured on the thumbnail here, but you'll see all nine throughout the video. We have uh, five new releases for the main line, two re-releases, and two new color changers. And if you follow Cars Rumors, then you already knew about all of these singles that were coming out because they were part of a rumor list from about a month ago. When I first saw that list about a month ago, I was really excited because it featured basically all of the significant cars on the road diecasts that I feel should have been in the 2023 line. All of the ones that people were really, really asking for, and then a few fun extras that I honestly really wanted to see. I expected that these would all be spread out across several months, but considering that we're all revealed at the same time, it seems that they're all going to be part of the next few waves for, say, January or February. And that makes me really excited. They're really coming out swinging next year, getting all these big major things seemingly out of the way early on. And if they're doing all that, then that makes me really excited to see what they'll do for the rest of next year, because after these cars, I'm pretty sure we're completely in the dark for 2024 rumors. Anyway, let's go through these one by one. Uh, we'll start with the color changers with the most boring new reveal in my opinion. It's a new variant of brand new Mater. I don't think anyone was asking for this, especially since we now have a regular color changers Mater. I, I don't think anybody asked for a new brand new Mater. Uh, this looks pretty similar to ones we've gotten in the past, although I believe it changes to, br uh, to green instead of brown like previous ones did. Um, I usually try to get every color changer, but I'm probably going to skip on this one. It's, it's pretty boring in my opinion, and I think the 2020, uh, color changer mater is better, and I think that one is still on shelves, but have no fear, uh, because if you're a fan of color changers, the next one is going to blow you away. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a color changers Jeff Gorvette for the first time ever. Jeff's getting a color changer, and can we just talk about how good he looks? As you can see, he's going to change from yellow to red. Seems like a darker red than what we usually get for color changers. But can we just talk about how good the detailing on Jeff looks? Like, I, I honestly think that Jeff here may look better than his regular 155 scale diecast. This is a really, really well done plastic model. When I first saw that they were doing Jeff, I kind of did a double take. And I realized, oh yeah. They never have done a Jeff color changer before. They never did one back when Cars 2 was first coming out. Uh, and with the technology that they use to do the decals for the color changers now, Jeff looks really, really solid. Now, moving on to our re-releases here. The first one is Fabulous Lightning McQueen. And I, I'm only really including this for the sake of completion. There's really nothing to say. Fabulous McQueen is out almost every year. He actually hasn't been out as a single in 2022 or 2023, but he was out like every single year before that. And he was out in 2023 thanks to one of those Walmart exclusive accessory two packs. Basically, all I'm saying is, oh, isn't he also out in a five pack currently too? I think he's also out. Yeah, he's out in that, uh, in that like Willie's Butte end of Cars 3 five pack that came out late last year. So basically, if you want a Fabulous McQueen, you definitely already have him. But now let's talk about a re-release that I'm actually very excited for, Wingo with Flames. Now Wingo and DJ were both on uh, that big rumor list from about a month ago. What we didn't know was that it was gonna be the Flame variants. Unfortunately, Mattel pulled a modern Mattel and didn't label him as Wingo with Flames and just labeled him as Wingo, uh, but it is in fact Wingo with Flames. Now, people may be assuming that he'll have a different expression because Kabuto with Flames did when they re-released him this year. Uh, but just looking at Wingo, you could tell, same face as always. Kabuto with Flames only had a different face because his original prototype was supposed to have an original face, and then they didn't give him that, so they kind of fixed that this year. Wingo, yeah, he, he's just going to have the regular Wingo face, but with a little tiny green flame shooting out. I'm excited for this one. 
The only tuner with flames I have is Snot Rod. Uh, so, you know, hopefully they release the full set. I'm a little nervous that they won't do all four because in recent years, when they have like a set of cars, they won't do all of them. Think Jay with VR headset. You still don't have the other guy with the VR headset. Um, or, you know, when they did Cave McQueen in 2023 and not Cave Mater. It makes me nervous that we won't get all four of the tuners with flames, but they have a pretty good streak, okay? I don't think there's ever been a time where they've released the tuners as singles and haven't done all four. And now we are here onto the new releases from Cars on the Road. Uh, I'm gonna try to order these from least exciting, in my opinion, to most exciting, but that's very hard. We're gonna start off with uh, Lightning McQueen as Deputy Hazard. Now, people speculated that due to this car having a different code on his online listing, this could be a variant of him. And the most popular conclusion I saw was, what if it's him with slime splattered on him? Uh, yeah, everybody was right. That's exactly what this is. Now, unfortunately, once again, it's not labeled as a separate variant. But as you can see, he has this piece of removable plastic slime similar to Cupcake McQueen, which is just really, really funny. Uh, I wonder if he's gonna have a new face, considering that he's just called Lightning McQueen Deputy Hazard again. I assume he may not. Uh, I hope he does. I hope he has a concerned face. But if he doesn't, then this is just a really good way to get a regular Deputy Hazard with a fun accessory. I think it's really fun to repack him for next year, but with this new accessory, that will make people like myself who already have him want to come back and pick up this one. Speaking of McQueens with plastic sheets covering them, we have Space Creature Lightning McQueen. One of my most wanted on the road releases uh, ever since day one. This is McQueen when he disguises himself as an alien to scare off the cryptid busters. Uh, what a guy. It's just Lightning McQueen if he were in a, the great pumpkin Charlie Brown, okay? He, he looks really funny. Uh, I assume, again, that this is a removable plastic sheet. I hope it is. Because if you were to remove it, I assume that you would get a blank Cryptid Buster McQueen with no gear, which is another McQueen variant from On the Road that I really wanted to see that we haven't gotten yet, other than as a color changer. And that would be a really good way to knock out two variants in one, right? You lift up this plastic sheet, and oh, hey, it's, it's a Cryptid Buster McQueen with no gear. Now they don't have to release that as its own single. Um, unless, of course, this isn't a plastic sheet, and it's actually just a fully molded metal McQueen which looks like a McQueen with a sheet over him, uh, which I would also be very, very happy with because I just think that would be really funny. Either way, this is a really solid release. It's just really fun. I really like this one. And then we have President Mater, one of the most wanted cars, I think, from on the road, okay? Yeah, we got the, uh, we got the color changer of him, but that's not good enough. We want our president, Toe Mater, thank you very much. And he looks good. There, there's not much to say. He's another case of, yeah, the color changer came out first, so I have less to say about this. It's going to look a thousand times cooler than the color changer. But uh, another case of, like, it, it's a little too late for me to be super excited about this one. He has a color changer. He has a mini racer. Like, th this should have happened much earlier. Um, I've heard some speculation that it seems he may have the long hook from the long hook mater. I hope that isn't the case. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think he does. I think it's just warping from the image here, uh, from the bubble. I I'm not too sure. Then we have cave mater. Yeah, cave mater looks crazy good. Mattel hasn't made a cave mater in any form other than as a mini racer. Every other company has already done cave mater. Another thing that happened way too late, but since there wasn't like a color changer before this, I I don't know, I'm still super excited about this one. He looks really, really, really good. And again, this is just one where I wish he had come out this year. Would have been a lot nicer, but you know what? Better late than never, right? This looks really, really good. Just should have been out this year. And finally, the one that I think I'm a lot more excited about than most other people, uh, the Ghost Tractor, or sorry, Tractor Ghost. As basically an Easter egg in the back of Lights Out, one of the ghosts is just straight up a tractor. And it's been one of my most wanted diecasts since I first saw the episode because I just thought it was really funny. And as soon as I saw it on the rumor list last, uh, last month, I was like, no way. No way they're actually doing that. That's so niche. It's like the Pit Stoposaurus all over again. It's like just a little funny background gag where I was like, that'd be so cool to see as a release. Uh, and now they did it. 
ladies and gentlemen, Tractor Ghost, which I just think is so funny. Is anyone else as excited for this as I am? I have no idea, but I don't care. I want the Tractor Ghost. Thank you. I also love how the artwork looks like they literally just lasso tooled it out of the scene it was in in the show. I think that's so funny. This is one of those cases where you could really tell that the Cars diecast team has a sense of humor. Just making this funny background gag as a diecast. Very excited about that one. Would I have preferred to see some more regular ghosts first? Uh, yes, and this continues the very weird order in which we've been getting Cars on the Road diecasts, but I don't care. Don't take my tractor ghost away from me. Let me have this one. Let me have this one, okay? Thank you. Let us all have these. Because these are some really solid reveals. And like I said earlier, if this is how 2024 is starting, I'm really excited to see what the rest of the year has in store. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know which of these new reveals is your personal favorite. For me, I'm kind of in a three-way tie between Space Creature McQueen, Cave Mater, and maybe the Deputy Hazard with Slime. I really like that one. And of course, the Tractor Ghost is really, really great as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.